Warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up, cool down. Yo, dear, you want to play with my penis? Peanuts. Peanuts. You sick son of a... Come on, man, I'm in peanuts. Peanuts. Look at all these peanuts on the table. Snoopy, man. Snoopy and gang. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Big Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching? Beamus. B-M-U-S. I promised you a long time ago we're going to do some Snoopy stuff. I never got around to it. Guess what? Today is the day we're going to do a buttload of Snoopy sets. So, if you didn't know, Linus, Linus, the brand, L-I-N-O-O-S. Don't ask me how to say it. Linus or Linus. Maybe you didn't meant to say Linus, just like Snoopy's friend. Anyway, I think they are a sub-brand of Z-Gal. If you're familiar with Z-Gal, then you know what you're getting yourself into. Because it's kind of like the characters or the figures use the same kind of functions or features. The bricks as well seem similar. Anyway, these are fine. These are totally standard brick compatible. What I mean by that is there's another brand called Banbao that has the official rights to use Snoopy or Peanuts and Gang. Peanuts. Banbao bricks are not exactly 100% compatible. Some bricks work, some bricks don't. Somehow, these guys have now taken over. They have all the rights. Everything that you see here on the table is authorized and licensed. Yes, we can get your own Snoopy, add them to your brick sets. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna go over an entire series. So we're gonna go crazy as fast as we can to show you each one, because a lot of these sets are really small. Stay till the end of the video, or middle, should be pretty quick, so we can look at some really nicer, detailed sets, like this one here, this one here. All the other ones are like, for like, your if you're a collectible or a fan, or if you want kids to be have a playable set or build set, they're totally fine. My son, Tyler, built a majority of the smaller ones. He can build them, they're quite easy to build. Let your kitties build the small ones. Let me and you, mom and dad, fix the bigger sets for ourselves. So these ones are really cool. You ready for this? What we're gonna look at today is from Linus, and this is Peanuts, or the Snoopy Variety Sets. LN8061 through 76. And these are all the little mini sets that you see right in front of you. And then we will look at LN8058, the secret agent room. And last but not least will be LN8082, a more recent set, the Snoopy television set. Before we get into the review, just wanna show you guys all the boxes that you see in front of me. There they all are. They look very nice. We have been sending them with boxes. You're just gonna have to pay a little bit more. Take a minute, take a look, because most of you probably won't get boxes, and I'm gonna throw all these boxes away. All the designs for all the boxes look totally A-OK. -okay. This is just for your record, okay? So this is the first one here. They call this, they actually don't name any of these. I just call it water slide. It's just a picture of a water slide there. This is the manual that I'm holding. The manuals are very easy to read. So this is LN8061, if you're going to find it somewhere else if you don't buy it from me you guys don't have to it's all it's all good man i just want you to be happy with these sets very easy to follow your five-year-old kid can do it if my five-year-old can do it your five-year-old can do it there you go very easy to put together and you got charlie brown i remember the characters names yay and of course you got snoopy now every single set is going to be slightly different with the characters. So Snoopy might have a hat in one, he might not have a hat in the other. So he has a little bit of a different mold on that part. Charlie Brown looks like Charlie Brown. This one is actually pretty okay. I like the size actually. It holds up pretty good. It is using multiple plates if I go like that. So you do have to be a tad careful with that. So for something like this, you're definitely paying more for the characters themselves. But anyway, you got a ladder there. This one does have a little pulley for the bucket. You might want to cut the string to make it shorter. You have the swing here. It's actually pretty funny that the swing is a little bit too long. You might be able to twist this part up and make it shorter. There's a little bit of room on the inside there. Two stools with no studs on them. There's Charlie Brown. Ooh, you don't want to push down on this side, right? Yeah, you know my favorite word, flimsy. Flimsy tree. I like the slide though, the slide's cool. Yeah, so Charlie Brown can be like, here we go. Straight down into the water. The back here, you got a window there with a flap on it, sticker. Got a little tree up on the top there. 
I like the colors and I like that there is a little bit of water there. I wish those were transparent or trans clear color water. That's fine. It's a cheap set, man. You actually do have a little bit of a like a walkway underneath the tree and a couple of flowers spread out there. Yeah, you know, Charlie Brown, he looks great. So this is how you can kind of tell they are Z Gal. You know, maybe I'll pull it out and just show you real quick. Once I do these guys, I'm not gonna show you them again because it'll be repeating over. I'm gonna pull off his arms there. <gasps> His bones. So Zigao does use this kind of style. So I'm pretty sure this is a sub brand for that. Anyway, here is Snoopy. He looks fantastic. I like his body. And yeah, the shape of course is not like a standard figure, but guess what? He looks like a cartoon. He looks just like Snoopy. And he has a green hat there. If I take it off, just to show you on this camera there, got a hole in his head. So the other sets might not have a hole there. So this one is specific because he's on an adventure. The arms can kind of move up and down and it does have the copyright on his ass right there and yeah he'll fit on any set the feet will fit on those studs so there you go that is the tree house on to the next one this one that we're looking at right now is ln8062 and it's kind of obvious this is like a baseball field so this one has a nice little plate multiple plates again and you have charlie brown here that's going to throw his baseball and snoopy's going to whack the baseball right out of his hand so you do get a bat here and this is another snoopy with a little mold on top for his red hat charlie brown is exactly the same i like how all the plates or all the the stands have a little bit of a swivel thing well some of them do all of them yeah you kind of like rotate them all so there you can play a game of baseball on this plate if i take the guys off here and just show you the plate plate here like that the green field of dreams this is so easy to put together Here's the stand for the crowds. Tyler, my, my son did a terrible job on the sticker. Very simple stuff. You got flags here and just those simple benches down there. And you actually get like two more down here that you can kind of just put randomly anywhere. Fill it up with all the extra Snoopies. I have so many Snoopies. While you guys are making your clone armies with your Star Wars figures and your World War II figures, I'm going to make an army of Snoopies. I've got so many here. The stand where the players hang out and chill. That's actually kind of small though. Like, I'm trying to see if I can fit all these guys. Oh no, it's gonna. Oh, oh Snoopy man. There. Okay, so standard figure will kind of fit in there. Kind of hunched over. But hey, you get a stand, man. Okay, what's the last thing we have here? This part. What is that? That's for the the the, the umpire, right? So the ball goes behind the player. Your Snoopy standing in front, and then you hit this part in the back. Yeah, it's very simple. You, you can use this for your for your building, man. Just use this for an extra wall, for an extra bedroom. But anyway, there. They are going to play ball while we go look at the next set. You know what? I forgot to show you guys this. If you didn't know, please follow me on my toy channel, Toy Me Up Scotty. I'll put a link in the description where I actually have been reviewing smaller miniature toys that are Snoopy style. We also sell these and they're available. They are freaking amazing, man. Just go watch that video, but let's look at the next Snoopy one, okay? You know, I'm gonna probably miss showing you guys the manuals for all of these, but they're all here and I don't wanna go through them or take too long going through these, but just so you know that these are all totally fine and very, very easy to read. Just trust me, man, you got this. So this is the Red Baron. That's what they call it, right? The iconic Snoopy plane. There is no Snoopy with a set. It only comes with Woodstock. This is the first time we're seeing Woodstock, yeah? Woodstock should be more like on the wing. And you'll probably want to use your 100 other Snoopies that you get anyway and stick them in there. It's kind of odd. They should include the pilot, right? Fun to play with, easy to build. Propeller works just like that. It rolls pretty good. This one actually might fall apart on you. It fell apart on me inside the bag because everything just kind of flopped off. But if I like, do a quick test right there, it's not too bad. Like the, the, the tail might come off, the wing pieces here might pop off. There is a small steering wheel inside. Can't see it there, but that's it. That's all they have in there. And those are stickers across. What a terrible job. They're all bubbled up. My son, man, blame my son. Don't blame me. I didn't do those ones. I'm just as bad though. I did a really bad job on that. More stickers here along the side there. Some profile action view for you. You need an airplane so you can fly around your city. All right, fly away. 
So this one that we're looking at is LN8064. It's exactly the same build as the red one that you saw. So this is the green Baron. Yeah, everything's totally the same, just different color. However, this one does have a pilot. Snoopy is actually pretty cool. This one, the mold is different. The back of the head is completely... <gasps> I've just killed him. The back of his head comes off on the back, not on the top. He had the goggles there to wear while he is flying. Well, this is the, must be the flight tower, like inside the control room, right? One of the coolest things is, and this is what I like about really small sets, right? Sometimes they come up with these genius ideas, like this chair fits right perfectly there, and he can slide over here like that, and use this side. I'm like, hey, that might be kind of a cool concept to use for your sets, you know? So we're not gonna buy these things, and you might see small little things here and there. Just use these as inspiration, man. You don't have to be like, oh no, that's a ripoff. Maybe they did rip off though from another set, I don't know. Whee! Okay, he falls over easy, but it, that's just a cool concept that you can slide the guy. Yeah, the stickers on this is actually pretty good. You got like the radar with the jets and you actually got the world map right there. Pretty intense for a Snoopy set. Yeah, this idea is actually pretty smart. It's just small, but that's a good idea. I know that's a Pink Panther song. What you're looking at here is LN8065. There's the book. Very simple, easy to read. Oh, and dude, they do have the part list here. And I think Ban Bao actually made one that was like really similar to this. Could be the same one. Maybe they just shook hands and said, you guys take over and do this yourself. So this one is more of a classic antique car, but I guess it's supposed to be like a detective, like 50s style. I'm not sure. The car is so easy to put together. It's kind of weird looking, right? It's like the wheels on the back stick out more. So it's like an off-road. <laughs> Chris is like, what is this? This is a kid set, man. Not supposed to be like a complex thing, you know? Here's the butch of the car. I was trying to figure out like, does it open up like with a hinge there? They probably could have used a hinge piece there to open it up. It doesn't open up or anything. And then just to show you underneath there. Okay, simple. You can take this off here and just show you there, steering wheel. Snoopy can sit inside or stand inside right there. Oh, the hat, man, it's always the hat problem. He's gonna be hitting his hat. If we take off his hat, he should be fine. Snoopy can always just hang out on the top there. Snoopy himself looks fine. He's just like all the other ones and his hat is okay. He has a magnifying glass there and a magnifying glass in a couple pieces. So you do have to put that together. What I don't like is his outfit. It's like a piece of paper. Then you have to kind of like fold it together in the back. I can never get that piece to fold inside. Such a pain in the butt. And then he has like a collar thing. If I take his head off here, I think that's like a piece of collar. I'm not sure. This, it's like a disc. Man, it, it's just kind of cheap that they're using paper, thick paper to do the outfit. I kind of wish it was like cloth or just a printed piece. He looks like a detective. There you go. That's him with the detective car. Next. Whoa. Okay, this one you're looking at is LN80. 8066. And this one is more like a circus set. And I don't know why they put this together with a variety set, but maybe they want to tease you that if you go on my website, I'll put all the link in the description. They do have an entire circus series and I'm actually building that with my son right now. So if you guys really like this video and you want to see the next series, let me know, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll do the circus one with the Christmas house that was recently released. Here's a very simple food cart. You got this, you can hook onto your, whatever horse you have. The wheels, they're using like film reels for wheels, but it, it actually rolls pretty okay, like that. And some snacks, I guess it was supposed to be snacks. Some drinks there on the other side. Not Nothing really there too, some just bottles, that's it. You got the awning here, very simple stuff. And of course you got the balloons or whatever those things are. Very colorful. You do have to be a little bit careful, see the wheels pop off. But there's one thing that could have been a little bit better is these parts do pop off. Just, just handle this one with a little bit of care. So now the more fun piece for this set is the hammer game that you see in circuses or amusement parks. It's actually pretty okay, like the way they built it. So I guess you lift up this part here, you just drop it there. You know, Snoopy comes along with this big hammer. I love the hammer, by the way. He goes, bam, he smacks this thing. And then you just go, boom, like that. And you hit the top, boom. It's just missing some noise and lights, but yeah, you gotta like reset this manually like that. One more time, just like that, there. Oh, look, it's not falling apart on me, you guys. It's staying intact. This is what a standard Snoopy looks like. So the molding is nothing, no hole there. The back of the head will come off. 
pretty easily, I think. Yeah, just like that. And most of the Snoopies will look like this. He has his hammer there. It's like Thor's hammer. Snoopy's hammer. Bam. So the next one is LN8067. It's like the campsite. Very small book. Easy to read, guys. This one is super easy. This one might be actually just a nice little set to throw into your brick city if you don't want a Snoopy, but you just want something very small. Or you want Snoopy to be at a campsite. Stickers there, lake and trail. More of the pebble walkway. We've seen this already in the other sets. Same Snoopy as the other one. Okay, if I rotate it here for you, got some flowers there. And a bench for your picnic campsite. It's literally a couple of bricks. The most complicated thing for your kids would probably to be build this part here with the hinges. I like that though. It looks like wood and it looks like fire. So there you go. Done. This one here that we're looking at is LN8068. I feel like the books are getting smaller and smaller. Soon it'll be like a tiny little paper on your hand. This one is Woodstock's house. Tree birdhouse is gotta be Woodstock's place. For this set, you're getting the iconic Snoopy and you got Woodstock standard normal guy. So I'm just gonna show it to you here what these guys look like. I think they're actually really okay. Snoopy's arm might pop off on you pretty easily. Chris flew his arm off earlier, but he still looks pretty good. Woodstock, his feet comes off. And does he bend over? No, this one doesn't. I think I thought I saw one that bends over, but you know, he looks actually really good. He looks like Woodstock to me. So great, the figures look pretty a-okay. This is by far the most fun tree to build. There's no branches, no BS, man. So easy to put together. I actually quite like the, the bird's nest. I guess that's this bird's nest. It's gotta be Woodstock's home, man. But inside, you got a little pink sofa there and a TV screen with nothing on it. Woodstock really doesn't fit there properly. He's just kind of like hitting his head here. They had to put him sideways. I'll put the screen up out of the way. Snoopy might be able to actually fit in here. Kind of, yeah, kind of like that. It's a little bit off. There you go. A tree birdhouse looking thing. So I think this one is more for you fans of Snoopy and Woodstock. Just got to get all these sets, man. That's all you got to do. This one that we're looking at is LN8069. And this one is very similar to another one that we're going to see in a bit. The book, again, is very small. This one's like Daredevil or Evil Knievel Snoopy. Even though it's a Daredevil set, that doesn't really make sense. The tools here, the gas pump here, the little station, and it's on the hinge there, so you can close it up if you wanted to, make it more compact. And on this side, you got a bench here, and what is this? I took that piece off just to show you guys. That's not supposed to come out, but I'm not even sure what this is. It's like a machine or something, ATM, or trying to be an ATM. You got some dead plants there, and look, it's a wanted poster. Who's wanted? Maybe Snoopy's wanted on this one. Oh no. There's Snoopy. So this one is different. He's got the, the mask on and he has a cape that is a paper cape. Damn, I don't like these capes, man. Where's his arm? His arm is missing. Oh no. I have so many spares. I don't know where his arm is. So we'll just make him the one arm bandit Snoopy. Of course, the set does have a motorbike. However, Snoopy cannot fit in the bike itself. The feet were not designed that way. So he's going to have to stand here and pretend he's doing something very daredevilish. This one is LN8070. What do we call the set, you guys? Walking down the street with a stroller set. So same Snoopy, same Woodstock. You get this little pavement road walkway with a picket fence. That's just like your spare pieces, man. But what's nice about this one is you got a mailbox here. Okay, the mailbox does open up. We have some mail inside. That is a sticker of the paw prints. So you can close the mailbox here and then like slide it right inside there. Get in there, get in there, go. There you go, that's nice. The stroller is like a four wheel drive pram, man. This thing has got some wheels on this thing. Look at that, that is so funny. So Woodstock fits inside, they're just fine. There you go, that's a very small set. That's a baby stroller set by Woodstock. Now we're looking at LN8071. Oh, we're getting more Christmassy here. I think a lot of you will probably get this one. And a lot of you in the past have gotten this one because of the Snoopy house or the one from Van Bell. And this is iconic. So you have to have this one. This one doesn't have to be a Christmas theme, all right? Because you get Woodstock, you get the standard Snoopy. But man, they did the paper thing with his outfit. And this time, 
I just used blue tack to hold it down on the back so that I can show you guys the front because it's just a piece of paper and I couldn't fold it. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that more printed. But anyway, you still get Snoopy, you get still get Woodstock. Here's the doghouse, ooh, 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 Snoopy. You got the sign there and it's empty on the inside. But of course you have the typewriter along the top. The blue typewriter, the sticker there. And you got two extra bonus little presents. You got the stocking here and a Christmas present here, you know, to make it look more Christmassy. If you take those away and you take off his outfit, it would just be like a regular doghouse. So there, you get two sets in one. At least this doghouse is all bricked out and built pretty solid. The Snoopy fit inside. Yeah, he can fit in there. Woodstock fit inside. Yes, he can fit there too. Can the presents go inside? Yeah, the presents all can go inside. Get him in there and shake it up. The set will not fall apart on you. You definitely 100% need this because this is iconic, man. All right, so this one we're looking at is LN8072, Lucy's lemonade stand. Not really lemonade, it's like a, her doctor stand, right? There's the manual just to show you, it's very small. This is another very iconic piece of the show. So if you really want this, you gotta get this. Of course it has Lucy, so you gotta get it because it's the only set that has Lucy in it. Lucy, that sticker. Looks terrible, that was not by me, that was by my son. So you got Lucy here. She looks very simple, I like her hairstyle. And her face, her smile, it's almost just like a Charlie Brown. I guess they all kind of have that same look. But the body again is the same deal, the bones inside. And as I said, it's okay. She looks just like the cartoon with the headpiece and the face. That's all right with me. You got two stools here, one for her, one for whoever's going to visit her or that needs psychiatric help. Psychiatric help, five cents? The doctor is in. I like the sign how it hangs there. Sticker down below. Maybe I'll fix the stickers later if I can. You got a bucket over here. Five cents. That is a sticker on the bucket. They're all stickers. Sticker of a book in the middle and a mug. And it looks like a little secret area to store something. And there's the back how they hold the sign up. I'll put it back here. There you go. Lucy. And her stand. Awesome. This being really small. I have a smile on my face. It's really cute. I like this. This one is LN8073. You had the campfire, and now we have the campsites. Same book, same deal, same Snoopy, except he has a pair of binoculars there. We don't need to see him anymore. This one has a little bit of a, I guess a picnic area here with a briefcase on it. There's food, who knows what it is. You got a little cooking area here. You now just a piece of wood with a frying pan and a cup. And then you got a little, like a little waterfall forest area. You can put it way back here. It's in the background and you got the tent here in the foreground, or you can go like this, maybe like that. And then there's the lovely tent. Wow, yeah, see, you can get cinematic with this kind of thing. This is really simple. A couple of flowers and branches there. And then you got the tent. It's like literally three pieces. One, two, three, or oh, four, five, five pieces to make this tent. The funny thing is, they gave me two of the same size. I was like, oh, they gave me two of these. So they had to replace it for me. The good news is if you order from us, you know, we work directly with Lino, so the brand. So we can help you get replacement pieces if it is a must. A lot of the pieces you guys should have, but you know, this is pretty special, this piece. So I put this all back together and I put Snoopy there. There you go, Snoopy is going to have his camp out in this tent. This one here we're looking at is LN8074, the football play set. For all my American friends, this one's for you. So you got the football field here, very small. Look, Snoopy's totally different. He has a football in his hand there. He's a big, giant helmet. There he is, a hole in his head. We put this helmet on here, and it slots in just fine. Yeah, he looks cool, man. I like the Snoopy. This might be a little bit too cheap for some of you guys. It looks like spare pieces that you can actually use to make this. Fair enough. That's simple. At least you get a nice little Snoopy. And of course we got this right here, which is the like made the bench area. Kind of like the baseball one, right? What a terrible job Tyler did on that sticker right there. Zero zero, home and visitors. You know, you can just put your figure barely hanging in there. Probably fall out. But at least you get you know, a couple of things with this one. So not too bad. That is the American football set. 
So now what we are looking at is LN8075. More baseball. This one doesn't have any fuel. It simply has a bench, very easy. The stand, which is almost like a combination of all the other ones that we've seen together. You got Woodstock this time. The other one had Charlie Brown. And you have Snoopy, just playing baseball with his red hat. Same as the other, exactly the same as the other Snoopy. And you got a little container here of some balls. You can see some baseball. That's it. See how fast that was? 30 second review right there. So this is LN8076. This is the last of the variety set that we have, but we still have a lot more on the store. And hopefully this video hasn't taken too long to get through. Same book. But this one is kind of the same as the Evil Knievel or the Daredevil one that we saw with the gas station. This one's very simple. You got a motor, same motorbike. It's missing a headlight there. And the same Snoopy, same cape, same mask. The only difference this one is He's on a little mountain that's supposed to be able to like fly when the thing fell off. We'll try that again like this. Supposed to go boo and fly him off, but you know, maybe you have to make him a little bit loose here. And then you're supposed to put him here like that. Watch me fly guys, woo! Oh, I took down the whole set. Does this thing really work or it's not working? Yeah, I'll do it again. Lightly. That's it. that's the idea. It's supposed to be like a superhero flying through, and he flies onto his motorbike right there. Exactly the same motorbike they saw earlier. Wee! Here's a closer look at the this cave thing. This one, it's very small. We looked at so many other fun small sets. I should look at this one first. It's like the most minimal one, but. Now that we've got these out of the way, it's time to look at some more detailed sets, the two that are coming up. So here we go, let's check these ones out. Okay, this one is LN8082-84. They couldn't make up their mind of if it's gonna be 82 or 84. A much bigger book than all the other ones. This one is actually a fairly new release. It was actually a lot of fun to put together. You know, this one doesn't color code it out of the way, so you might have to be, just look for the pieces very carefully but there's a show you page. So the TV stuff, I think it's pretty fun for all the sets I've been doing. The best one is still Lego's NES. And I reviewed that one. That one was so much fun, man. This one does have a couple cool little features in here, but just to show you the overall vibe and feel of it. I like the look of it, the front. It looks like uh, flying adventure mode. There is another television. I'll show you a screenshot right now. It's a space one. Why did I not get the space one? I just wanted one television to try out and see if I like this one. But yeah, there you go, you have two options. So this one is the adventure one. There's the front there. You got a couple of knobs. You got a Snoopy sticker on this side. I like the illusion of the cloud and the airplane that's flying through there. And you got a little tiny airplane on top here that was pretty cool. Swing to the side here. There's a little bit of a gap there, like a design. You can pull this part off here and you can get inside the set. I'll show you the back here, big sticker they're going there. At least you have the plugs input right there and then the antenna, which you can kind of move. Fairly simple overall. The back can actually kind of pop off. Yeah, there you go. It's just like nothing there, nothing. Okay, it's time to show you how the knobs work. So if I turn the top one on here, twist it. Oh, look. Oh, now you can really see inside there. That looks so cool. That is a piece of cardboard on the back. The wall doesn't move. In all the other sets, they kind of have like this moving thing. However, the airplane does move with this bottom knob. So if I go this way and rotate it here, it only goes left and right. I mean, it's just gonna go doo, 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 doo. flying there. Pretty easy, simple mechanics. It's not too crazy. Yes, you can see the wires along the inside there. They're kind of a pain in the butt, but do you need that for the set? It actually is kind of dark without it. So you might want to put the lights inside there. You can probably hide the wires a little bit better. The Snoopy is actually the same pilot from the other airplane. Woodstock is the same, but you have like a mini version of this airplane here. And I like the clouds are shaped like hearts and it has a couple of gear pieces down below. The one thing I'm not really a fan of is the way the lights look. It's very bare bones. So it's like all the wiring and the chips, you can see the chips just sticking out there and they can get hot. So. You know, I want to leave this thing on too long. You never know. Right there, you can see where the Technic piece is kind of pushing on that light switch. And those are like standard AA or AAA batteries that you put inside. So it's just a battery box 
floating and the piece goes in there to hold it down. Really genius idea. What do I think overall? I love the TV set, man. I was like super happy to put this together. It's a lot like the picture frame one that I did, right? Do I have to show that one again? So probably the third time I'm showing this picture frame set, but I really, really love this set so much and I have an adventure one as well. And the TV just kind of reminded me of this. I'm like, oh, okay, this is super impressive. So there you go, the Peanuts TV set, A-OK -okay with me. I quite like the look of it. It is dark without the light, so you want to try to put some lighting in there, or at least use a light brick and if you don't want to use the wires, okay? It's a very cool set indeed. One thing I forgot to actually mention about is it's quite easy to open up the television. So if the plane pops off or something happens, you can take the cover off and you can take this piece off, which is a really nice feature. It's a little bit tight. Let's see if I can pull this off. There you go. If I remove it there, Ah, you can see nice and clear on the inside. So you can see the back there. It's just a piece of paper. The cactus, you can take that out. You can switch it, make your own, make your own picture. Make them fly wherever. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a switch, the Technic switch that switches this battery pack. And that's pretty simple. And if I just show you underneath here, this part, just a couple of the clouds there. And that's it. So that's really cool that they added these features onto here. So you can just slide this back on here, push down there. Oh, something flew off. I put this back here. I'm ready to watch TV. The last one we're looking at is LN8058. This is the secret agent for all your technical information for pieces and all that kind of stuff. It's on the website, so you can see, you guys can see all that. This video is probably gonna be like three hours long. The book is pretty thick, and this one actually feels like a standard kind of book same thing they're really easy to read i'm happy that linos is doing it and they're coming out with even more sets the railway one just came out that one looks really good too so this what you're looking at is part of an interior house ban bao actually made something very similar to it and they also make this one or made this one which is a basement one it's collecting a lot of dust and as you can see oh yeah the snoopy is kind of the same man so i i don't know how that works or who agreed to do it what. But you can see some of the pieces like the cabinet back here, looks very different from your standard brick set, collecting a lot of dust. And we actually still sell this one. We have this one and I think they're still around to do some of these, some of these sets, you know. But this one was cool because it has like a, this house, iconic house on the top and it has a living room and a little bathroom there on the bottom and a bedroom underneath the staircase. So there, that was your look at that one. So here's the front just to show you. It's all exposed there. So playability, yes, very playable for your kids. You got the Snoopy, Detective Snoopy. Same Detective Snoopy as one from the other set and the same Woodstock. So we don't need to look at these guys. So you got a mailbox there on the side, the window to look into the place. And if I go to the back here, a couple more window, interesting look, different, right? But the most important part is coming back to the front. That's just a wall over there and going boosh. So we come inside, there's no door. You just walk right into this living room area. Got a fireplace on this side, a little trophy on the wall. I, I was actually pretty happy with this whole look. I even like the colors. You got the curtain here, there's the window, little painting going along the wall. You got like a telescope there. And the back cabinet has a couple of drawers and you got Snoopy's desk area, more stickers like letters and newspapers and a clock along the back wall, the two windows there. You got a hat rack in the corner and you got this mirror. Look, if I go like that, it's like a secret, a secret hole. Is this the secret agent's home or what is it? And in the middle, you got a couple chairs and you got, you can play a game of chest right there and then you got a corner here with a telephone on it flower painting up there and a dart board okay so you got a bookshelf here what was cool is we saw this little easter egg part there the hidden feature this bookshelf can rotate so you have another hidden feature here so you can turn it around and be like what well, it's like a television there that's a circus theme set right there and you know, it's just a fun little feature I guess this is the secret agent's detective's room. There is no room behind it. It's just a wall, but you can rotate it and go inside the secret room. And what's inside the secret room? It's just a bedroom. That's it. You got a couch right when you walk in. The picture of all the gang up on the wall. And you got a bed there, nightstand. One side has flowers, the other side has some drinks. And then you got the bathroom. If someone's sleeping on the bed, 
someone sitting on the couch, they can all look at you in the bathroom. Got a sink there. I like the tiling on the floor. Sticker is going across that mirror and his detective outfit there in the corner. And that is the secret agent room. It would have been nice to see more like secret things happening or things that you can move around. And you know, I would have, I, I love this feature so much. I was hoping for more of that, but that's okay. This is just for like Snoopy fans and you know, it doesn't have to be a decked out secret agent theme. It can be part of your home for another set. Okay, it is now time for dimensions. I'm not gonna do all the Snoopy sets. There's way too many. Those are super small, but I will do the main ones for you. We'll look at the television first. So if I take the TV and I stick it on right around here, anywhere, there's a lot of room here. You're looking at about 18 studs by about 13 this way. It kind of protrudes and sticks out with the knobs here. But anyway, plenty of room, very small. Now take your one by four bricks. Let's check the height. I'm gonna put this right here. Ooh, it's pretty close there. Or oh, it's like just slightly, slightly over 11 bricks in height. This small television, you know, the NES one, it has to be like way bigger than this. So at least it's nice and small. For the secret agent room, just remember it's on a bunch of little plates down here, but it is, if I go this way to show you, it is actually 32 by length. 32 by 24. And the plate here is a little bit thicker than a standard base plate. So, you know, rip it off that base plate, put it on this one, and you should be totally fine. Here's my one by four bricks. You know, if I put it against here, it's a little bit higher. It's like eight bricks in height. If I put it on the lower one here, it's actually almost right about there. So there you go. Gives you an idea. You could either use this for your mock or maybe you want a Snoopy house, apartment building. There, you got a nice interior there with Snoopy and a Woodstock. Now it is time to drop these two. Let's have some fun. Not too bad. Okay, so the television came loose because of this top part. Very easy fix. This one actually held in there pretty good. Just one piece of the wall flew off and the trophy up here and and this part of the secret wall. Did I break this thing? No, it's still intact here. Shove it right there. And we're done, finished. Yes, Snoopy out. Whew, that was a lot of talking, you guys. My mouth is about to fall off. All right, so there you guys go. Introducing Linos, Peanuts and Gang, Snoopy set for you guys. Authorized, authentic, super fun, cute little sets for your kids, for you, if you're into the whole nostalgic thing, get the whole series. I'll be back with more, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll bring it to you. Until next time, you guys, bring me out, Snoopy. 19 minutes left on this one. I got like cheese on my shirt. Oh, DJ. Playing with myself too much, man. I got yeah, the white mark on there. Gotta get that off. <laughs>